The clevis is a part of the cranium at the skull base, a shallow depression behind the dasumcella that slopes obliquely backward. It forms a gradual sloping process at the anteriormost portion of the basilar occipital bone at its junction with the sphenoid bone. On axial planes, it sits just posterior to the sphenoid sinuses. Just lateral to the clevis bilaterally is the foramen lacerum, proximal to its anastomosis with the circle of Willis. Posterior to the clevis is the basilar artery. The pond sits on the clevis. Clinical importance Clevis is also the site for corduma. Clevis is also used as an abbreviated term for the clevis ocularis, which is the sloping inner wall of the retina as it dips into the foveola and the macula of the eye. Relation of the clevis and dens The clevis is an important landmark for checking for anatomical atlanto occipital alignment. The clevis, when viewed on a lateral C spine X ray, forms a line which, if extended, is known as Wackenheim's clevis line. Wackenheim's clevis line should pass through the dens of the axis or be tangential to it. Additional images. See also, pharyngeal tubercle. References. This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy, McKenna Da, Roche C. J., Lee K. W., Terregiani W. C., Dudgel War V. A. Atlanta Occipital Dislocation, Case Report and Discussion. Can J. M. Erg Mer 2006. 8, 1, 50 3. Available at, link and link. Accessed on, December 7, 2006. External links, Anatomy Photo, 2200913 at the SUNY Downstate Medical Center Osteology of the Skull, Internal Surface of Skull, Diagram at UOCAR.